Hi guys, how is everybody today? So one thing that I really really suck with on Scrap Mechanic is water. So I thought maybe we should have a go at trying to build some sort of amphibious car, right? I mean it makes perfect sense, it's something that I personally am useless with. So why not throw ourselves straight in at the quite literal deep end and see what we can make. Uh, I've got no idea where to even start really. Uh, I know that the bubble wrap stuff is something that can help us with our floating. But honestly, I haven't got a clue how this is all going to work. I really don't know. So all we can see is what happens and try and find out what's the way to do anything, I guess. If anybody's got any ideas throw it into the comments. Uh, no, I will not be building with sand. I want to try and float this time rather than sink to the bottom. I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to use the creative um, kind of tools and stuff so I have access to all of the available materials to us. And I will be using a jet engine because I've looked at different water proportion. And yes, you can build a paddle boat, but it looks like you need massive paddles. And I don't really want to go huge with this. I want to keep this reasonable, I guess, is the best way. So we're going to be looking at stuff like bubble wrap. We're going to be looking at stuff like the cone. So the road cone, in case you don't know this thing. This has amazing buoyancy and it is brilliantly lightweight. The only thing is it only has like the connection point at the very bottom. So at the big fat chunky end. So I don't really know how we can incorporate that into the whole design itself. But we'll look through the parts and see what is actually, you know, floaty. What's great buoyancy. And therefore, what might actually help us float. I know that there's the warehouse, whatever they are. Uh, they're big and they're blue and they're stack up. They're sometimes found at the little shacks around the survival world. These things. Nope, not these things. Where are they? These things. And they have decent buoyancy, but they also are kind of heavy compared to the cones. So I'm not really sure, like I say, how or where this is going to go. Uh, I don't know whether we should build it in the bubble wrap because that is really buoyant. But then I've also seen people building wood, which the wood is actually more buoyant than the plastic block, which is interesting. So it's got one more weight, the wood has, one more weight than the plastic, but it also has one more buoyancy than the plastic. So maybe, maybe that's the way forward. So we compare the two. I mean, even the barrier block's pretty buoyant, which is surprising. Glass, nah. So we probably build in out of this and out of this. Level 3 wood is probably where we'll be looking at. Uh, again, looking through the parts. I had a little crash, I think is the best way, with a vehicle that I had. And it had these big chunky wheels on, not those little ones, those big chunky wheels on. And I noticed the parts of the wheels on started to float a little bit, so that might be a way forwards. So we'll just pull in everything that we think and see what we can come up with. Uh, I want to kind of keep it as realistic, if that's a possibility, to the survival game as we can. So that, you know, I can kind of get a grip of what's actually potentially possible versus, you know, it's great having the survival tools and all this kind of stuff, don't get me wrong, but it kind of spoils it to a degree. Once you build with everything and then you go back to play normal survival and you just realize how little you actually have, it can be a bit uncool, I think is the best word. I mean, we could... Could, uh... Looking at that, the gasoline, all these things have pretty similar stats. The battery, the gasoline, um, yeah, even the water. So all the containers for the stuff has pretty decent buoyancy and low weight. Same as milk. Even soil. Soil's got pretty good buoyancy. Who would have thought that? And these plastic crates. I'm unsure about these plastic crates just simply because of their weight. It is only four. Don't get me wrong, but everything else other than the wheels is two or one for weight. So that will keep us down quite a bit. Those wheels are quite weighty, but they are pretty buoyant. So I'm not entirely sure. I don't really want to do a pirate ship. 
Um, I kind of want to be more car-like that can go in the water, if that makes sense, rather than a boat that can go on land. I'd like to do a, a land vehicle that can go in the water and do it that way around. So we'll see what we can come up with. What are these things like? Look at the durability of a garment box. That's incredible. And broccoli. Interesting stuff. So we are also getting pretty dark. So just bear with me one sec. And I will drop out of here and put this command in. So we don't have to worry about passage of time. And it getting too dark for the stream to see. And I guess there's nothing left to do. But to actually try and build it. So uh, I need a seat. What's got quite good buoyancy? Seats or saddles? So seat has a buoyancy of two and a saddle also has a buoyancy of two. So they're going to be pretty much the same stats. So we'll not lose too much sleep over that. We'll use a saddle and maybe suspension perhaps. What sort of suspension would we want? Although that's not buoyant at all. So maybe if we can limit the buoyancy of those sort of things, that'd be great. Thrusters or what are we going to say I'm thinking if we take this thruster we'll cheat a little bit it's a thruster from the survival thing like a James Bond car yeah that'd be an idea do the Lotus that'd be cool um, and also I want to do, 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 do the electric engine from survival level 5 electric engine if we take the electric engine we are going to need the electric tub what's it called this guy or is it here that's got a pretty good buoyancy it's pretty much the same statistics as the tire so that's not too bad we will more than likely need some switches which we've got so we've got a seat we've got our building blocks we've got bearings and everything else okay I was hoping we could find some really buoyant lights. I mean, it's kind of asking... Ooh, they're pretty buoyant. They're pretty big, these lights, but we'll see where we get to. Uh, what about the saw blades? What's that stuff like? No, didn't think so. Okay. Although a bed is buoyant. Hmm. All right. I guess the only thing we've got to do is just to do it, right? Um, I don't entirely know what to do. I was kind of thinking as well, because these tires can be quite buoyant what about if we just put like a line in up here you know just to add some like float kind of thing to the side of our car it doesn't need to really be anything substantial because it's kind of not actually doing anything on the land it's just going to be doing it all on the water so that'll be good Bad. I say that'd be good. It might offer us something useful. I don't know. It's also going to offer us a lot of weight, which obviously you don't want to be doing. You want to be looking to limit the weight or minimize it even. But you got to try these things, right? It's like uh, there's a. I don't know what you call it. It's like a screw tank where these are like giant screws designed to go through water. So that'd be pretty cool if that would work. But yeah, I don't. I don't see that happening. And then, you see, we've got to think about actual on the road. I might change that for an actual seat because it's not sitting centered. Ooh, too many buttons. What am I trying to do? Inventory. Take the driver's seat. Keep this off. I like, I like symmetry. That's the best way for it. Okay, so we're here. So if we come this way and we want to get our wheel on, we'll have rear wheel drive, front wheel steering. We have the wheels drive from the outside. How about that? Do it that way for a change. So we're down and then we're across. Um, and then we can I don't know realistically how well these would actually float they're pretty buoyant, they're like some of the most buoyant things here and they're also not centred 
that one to be... Uh, how does that work? There's one gap there. What have I done different here? I've come off at that, haven't I? That's what it is. There we go. So now it's at least a little bit of symmetry. Symmetry. Um, to a degree, I guess. Um, bo -bo -bo boom. We want to put this engine in somewhere. Where are you? We want to put this jet engine in somewhere. So uh, maybe if we built build this up with bubbles because it's lightweight, and then put this in. Nope, it's not going to let me do it. We're going to build this up. Build that up then, and we'll go that way. But then we don't have a way to turn in the water yet. That's not. I say it's not too much of a problem. It will be. Obviously, it will be. Uh, I also want to be careful about what I do here because I'm going to need these to be symmetrical to the rear so that the weight is the same distribution. So what I could do, I could make this the steering arm. If I do that. So that's now the steering arm which will steer that whole piece that will have the front wheels on. And if push comes to shove, we could actually put a set of wheels on this side, which will also give us a little bit more to get hold of. Thank you very much for the like. Really appreciate that. You guys are awesome. I've uh, somehow got to squeeze an engine on here as well. So this will be coming a little bit longer this way. I don't know if adding more... Plastic wrap is a good thing or a bad thing. Um, obviously, it's light, and we're trying to float. But I don't know. I don't know if it kind of also adds a little bit of weight. I mean, it is—it's got weight to it, so there is that problem. I just don't know how it works. When it comes to water, I am really bad in scrap mechanic. When it comes to water, like really bad. It's such a... The ideas are there, but they never seem to work for me when it comes to the water. It's not something I can get my head around. And I've watched so many different videos on it, and I've tried to do so many different things, and it just doesn't work for me. So it can be full of ideas, but they never seem to work out. Usually I would go for the suspension glitch, but because I'm going to use an electric engine, I'm just going to use steering on normal bearings, like normal folk would. I do prefer the suspension glitch, but I've started to notice if I make bigger contraptions, the steering for the suspension glitch is quite a bit slower. And you are sometimes better off literally just using proper steering. It all depends on your device that you're trying to make I guess your vehicle or whatever you want to build is I've been having a a few goes at a few things in terms of packaging and yeah the suspension glitch was just slowing me down and really not helping me out so I kind of had a look at doing proper proper steering hi Mr. Cat nice to have new people around here feel free to kick back and relax you're always welcome and if you know anything about the buoyancy and scrap mechanic and you know how to build boats or, you know, that kind of thing, any input would be greatly appreciated because for me, I am useless with it. It's all sort of new, I guess, is the best way to explain it. It's just, yeah, it's not something I'm good for. I mean... It's kind of like a weird Batmobile thing, I guess. Uh, I've got to be careful where I put these in the middle because I don't want the front wheels to foul on it. Are we all connected up so far? Engine's connected up. And that needs some go juice. Of course. Helps if we're all travelling in the same direction. That one was. It's this side. There we go. And the steering is the wrong way around. 
Okay. Okay, so it's sort of working. It's a lot slower. There we go. Ooh, he's wide and heavy. That's not a good thing. I guess having those wheels on the side, though, stops us from rolling over too much. But do we float? Come on, you guys in the comments, what do you think? Are we going to float or are we going to sink? I think we're going to sink because I know what I'm like when it comes to building. It's quite heavy. It's got a lot of wheels. These wheels are very buoyant, but they're also kind of heavy. But we've also got a lot of level 3 wood, which is really buoyant. We've got plastic bubbles, which is really buoyant. We've got the road cones, which they're really buoyant. We've also got a really heavy engine and load of stuff. So uh, it's going to sink, isn't it? I don't know what it is, guys, but whenever I do anything on stream, it seems to work so much better than if I'm sitting around just on my own trying to do it. I completely expected that to sink. I mean, I am stuck now. I can't go forwards or backwards, don't get me wrong. But I completely expected that to sink. Um, I'm a little bit happy with that. I didn't expect it in the slightest. And now I, I don't know what to do because I was expecting us to sink to the bottom. So we'll just hook this up and we'll put it down here. Okay, so it's got to be a little bit quicker than that. Okay, but as we get further out into the water under that, we are starting to sink. Um, okay, we'll turn up the wick. So a little bit more buoyancy on the front, because the front's dipping down. So we can do that two ways, I guess. A little bit more weight on the back, or more buoyancy on the front. I am starting to go underwater. So that's at full speed, right? Yeah, so maybe if we put another engine on the back, it's going to make the back end heavier. Lifting the front up will float a little bit more, right? Um, I also need a way to steer... Which at the minute we don't have. So uh, we'll just keep going until we bump into land, maybe. You've just given me an idea, Mr. Cat. You've just given me an idea. Okay, so I want to put another engine on. Two engines, but my guy over here is just giving me an idea. Because we are going to want to go backwards at some point. So what about um, if we do something like this? Not entirely sure if this will work. I don't know if I can put the engines up here. It might be too high now. Yep, okay. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum, ba -bum. Come on. We want to do this, then we want to get the weld tool, then we want to connect. Ah, oh, I thought you could connect the sides to stuff. Okay, not a problem. Not a problem. We'll just have to do it manually instead. Uh, in fact, we don't even need to do that. There we go. And then if we connect that to that, and that to that. So this can have us going forwards. And then we're going to need a controller. It's all going to get a little bit heavier now. Um, put the controller in here. Connect the controller up to these two. So this can have us going forwards, and it'll also have us going backwards. And then I also need a bearing for left and right. 
There's no middle. <laughs> I don't like scrap mechanic because it doesn't have a middle. Anyway, 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 let's not think too much, right? So they're connected to that button for now. Them two are connected to that. I need another switch here. Second switch. Second switch will be for forwards or backwards. So when it's off, it's forwards. When we turn it on, which way we want them to rotate? That way. When it turns on, we'll flip the engines around and we'll go backwards, right? Do you really think that'll work? I don't know. Okay, both fusters are just as fast now. That's fine. They're on here, so that'll be forwards. And that'll be backwards. Okay, cool. Get us in the water first, just to see how much this floats or sinks. So the back should be heavier. Well, that's confused me a little bit, because the back should be heavier, so we should lift it up the front. Okay. That kind of works. It does sink a bit, though. So, I'm feeling... I've got to be careful with these, though. That's the only thing. The only thing. Kind of blow this up a bit so they've got a little bit more floaty stuff. Stuck underneath the wheel. Um, let's lift it on the lift. As in, it's too high? Is that what you're saying? That should have a wooden block there. Why does that not have a wooden block there where that side does? Is that side longer than this side? No, it's the same length, right? Has that got four wheels, four wheels? Something's not right there. I don't know what's gone on there, but one side's got one more extra block than the other side. But there's no real reason for it to have. Hmm. I'd have thought, though, because of the weight of the thrusters, it would have pushed it backwards, if that makes sense. I mean, I understand what you're saying, like the thrusters thrusting the car forwards, so that's why it dips. But I'd have also thought the weight. I don't know. So we'll move the thrusters down then. If we put the thrusters so they're kind of. As high as it was originally, it won't be so crazy. Yeah, I see what you're saying. And then soon enough we're going to have a car that takes off. Well, now we've got slight problems. So if I bring the thrusters down, can we bring that bubble wrap further? No. Okay, so bring the thrusters down, maybe here, well, then it shouldn't be floating, but okay. So if I try and put those there, it's not what I wanted to happen.
That'll bring them down a little bit. Might make a little bit of difference, maybe. Where's that middle bit? There. So the trick then, I guess, is to have the thrusters low. If the thrusters are at the front, though, won't that just, like, emphasize the forward dip? Won't it make it, like, just push further into the water? Speed that up as well. If that's the case, these need to come out a bit more. I think I've only got like that kind of much room. Or else otherwise it's going to start fouling the wheels. We don't really want to do that. That should be alright there maybe. Unless that's touching, which will be a nightmare. Okay, no, that's alright. We're not connected it. Brilliant. Still too heavy. Awesome. And something's gone wrong with that front wheel. You think thrusters in the middle will help us out? You think it'll balance it better? I'm all open for ideas. I'm not going to lie. I'm quite happy to listen to ideas. Because when it, like say, when it comes to water... I have not got a sausage. We uh we on the lift? Maybe we were. Okay, so that's the bad idea. Uh, it's in here, isn't it? So if we make these there, that might be a bit too much, right? Did you mean that way? Or did you mean the other way? You see, I want to slow the damn thing down a little bit. Okay, let's try this side. And then they... Okay, that's a little bit better. I'm going to move the thrusters maybe to where the wheels are as well. If I put the thrusters... I need to bring them lower. And I need to bring them more middle. Bring them lower, bring them more middle. And I put the thruster... Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to get rid of the normal steering. And I'm going to use a suspension glitch steering so that I don't have to worry about turning the thrusters around. That might work. So we can get rid of those controllers. It's that one, isn't it? That can go and they can go. What do I do with the button? 
I'm just thinking if we get a suspension glitch it means we don't have to worry about turning the thrusters now that's a lot leveler I appreciate that you guys helped me there There's two ways I could do this. Let's be honest. Okay. If I do this, switch number two goes over there, and switch number one goes over there. This will help us turn. We can go forwards. We can turn left and right. Well, that was a lot easier, wasn't it? Okay. What am I stuck on? This is much, much better. I appreciate the help. Surprisingly, we still light enough to roll over, which isn't a problem, given that the wheels are there. It stops us from rolling right over. It's decent enough in the water. Setting it up on a two-button system is better than trying to add in a load of bearings to help us turn or anything like that. It's nice and level. It's really balanced, which I really appreciate. I mean, that's really balanced. Well, that was nice and easy, wasn't it? Oh, you guys are awesome. <laughs> I would have took ages to try and figure out all this little stuff on my own. Like, water and thrusters are just not what I can do. So, do you think bring them out? Think another one this side? So then this way. So it's four wheels like that. Or do you think four wheels is in put another one on the inside? I was personally thinking bringing them out like that as well. Yeah, you're right. This way is right. Yes. Are we going to get another wheel on here, or is it going to get in the way of the thruster? That'll be alright. I guess this is the time that we're lucky that Scrap Mechanic doesn't have fire enabled yet. Because, let's be honest, if I'm putting something as flammable as a wheel right in front of a thruster, I don't think that would end very well. Uh, where's my seat? There it is. The front has sunk slightly. Maybe. Maybe not. Not to tell. And we'll turn the electric engine up as well while we're here. Add another notch to the thrusters. See, I've only started to play Scrap Mechanic when Survival came out. I was just browsing the store and Survival turned up and I was like, that looks pretty interesting. Oh gee, now we're motoring. Oh, that's nice. That is nippy.
I might make a sub. I can live with the back being lower. That's not too bad. Kind of like if you put the jets underwater, it's almost like a, a jet ski kind of thing where it runs the water through and pushes it through. But that's pretty neat. I mean, there's a lot of wheels involved there. If you built that in survival, that is a lot of honeycomb. But, uh, yeah, that's one of the... What's happening with that wheel, look? See, that one wheel doesn't want to turn. Have I... What have I blocked that on with? I've put a block somewhere that stops the wheel from turning around. Oh, no, it's right on top of the... No, that's the back end. So, like... Okay, I just put the block on connected to the wrong bit, I think. Yeah, I did. There we go. So, I'm actually in survival mode itself. And I've put the dev commands on that gives me access to all of the blocks. Rather than being on creative mode. It's the other way around for me. I also want to see if this will make any difference if I move these up. I don't necessarily even need them. I just think it looks different. You know. These at full speed. Full speed. That's fast enough for me, I think. Uh, I don't usually, but there was a lot of help on the internet, and uh, I think as well it's the fact that if you mess up the control console thing, the what's it called, the program inside of it. There's ways that you can re-authenticate your files with Steam, which makes things a little bit safer, I guess. Which is worth knowing. Charge! That's quick. It's pretty speedy across land. And then we roll over. Oh, no. Well, you guys have helped me out so much. Believe it or not. Where shall we investigate? Go over to that building over there. Just gotta understand which button turns which motor thing on. To infinity and beyond. How am I going to drive backwards? Well, as you saw when I got stuck, I'm not. I'm hoping I can just turn around. If I do need to turn it around, if I do find myself in a situation where I get like really stuck and I need to go backwards, I guess I'll have to look into it. Straight the way, what I think is if I extend where the thrusters are connected to out a little bit further so the thrusters again can flip over so that they can face opposite direction that might be the easiest way to do it who knows
What do we say we put some more thrusters on this? How much of a mess will that get us in? Ooh. No, no, no. So, I also would like some logic set up for this. There's this guy. Yay! So... Yeah, okay, so what I want to do, no, wrong button again, I would like switches and logic, or buttons and logic. Uh oh. See, what I was thinking of to go back was if I just bring these out on blocks, like out this way some more put a bear in so that the thruster can flip over that way to face so it blows its gas that way then I could go backwards if needs must anyway um, but I'm all right at the minute at the minute touch wood we've not needed to go well once we've needed to go backwards but we managed to get ourselves out of that well that literally did nothing so logic here's what I'm thinking so what I want to say is what do I want to say I need this as an and button which will be when that and that is on and then I need to reverse is that going to work? that gonna work is that gonna work because I only want to do one switch and then uh, where are they here push button push button for each side that one and I think where did I put that that one so in order for it to go forwards what I want to say is I want the switch to be on and I want the push button to be off, which needs a reversed to activate that, and it'd be the same for this. So that into there, that into there, that into there. So we need to put these up to the seat. Missed. I'm going to try and set it up like this so that maybe it helps me out. Nope. Which push button have I missed? Missed that one. So, when everything's on, that's not worked. Why has that not worked? Um, because we've not connected that up. Okay. We have connected that up. We've not. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. We've just lost our boat, guys. We have just lost our boat. It would have been nice to have put a kill switch on it. That would have been uh, sensible. And it would have also been smart to mess around with the logic on the lift. Looks like it might hit those rocks though. So if it hits those rocks, we might get it back. 
You did tell me to save her. I just kind of forgot. It's all right. It's not. It's not a problem. You guys help me out. It was really simple to build. So if it doesn't hit those rocks, because I don't really want to go swimming wherever I may end up swimming to, it's hit the rocks. But will it spin around? No, there's no like god mode or anything like that that I'm aware of. Uh oh, can't see it now. No, 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 it's managed to go to the left. Is there no land out there or anything? That's a little bit frustrating. That is a little bit frustrating. Okay, well, those rocks are a lot further away than I thought they would be. But the vehicle is only there. If I could get my crosshair on it and type fast enough, I could save it. But it disappears too fast. Those rocks are a lot further away than I thought they would be. Okay. Um, I'm going to make another one. Ooh. Is that right on the edge of the render distance? I think it is. Okay. Um, I'll just build another one. I will just build another one. Small thruster boat. Okay. Wait, let's do it in wood. Wood seems to work well. Thruster boat, and we want a seat. And we want to get the thrusters on the middle, that's one thing that I'm learning. Thruster, thruster, thruster. Thruster and thruster. Buttons. Boom and boom. Will that work? Kind of. Kind of not, but kind of. Maybe... No, because then we won't steer. I was going to say maybe just one thruster. It seems kind of balanced. It's just upside down. Add lots and then take lots away, right? Which way did that flip? Something like that. Flips backwards. You know what? I'm just going to build the same one before. Just going to build the same one before. We can build it underwater. It's fine.
It's not gone. We'll find it. I'll hunt it down. I'll chase after it. It's never lost. I want to build this before I forget, though, which won't be too long. Um, uh, then we came that way, did we? But we did have a line either side because I was able to put stuff down there if I wanted to. Okay. So then we came here. And here. And then it was four wheels each side. And then we were able to come down. Something like that. What a mistake to make. Oh wait, that's going to be defined how far that can go by the thruster, isn't it? Of course it is, my bad. So it was one more block. It was so close. No, wait. It was more than one block. It was never that far out, was it? Was it really? There? Seriously? Maybe it was. Maybe it was. I'm not going to argue. I mean, it worked, so... You'll remind me what you're going to do, scrub backwards? I mean, I could do that, actually. That would make a lot of sense. it has to be this kind of because I had um, I had the electric stuff here didn't I that tub was right up close then I had the engine somewhere there wherever it was I mean it wasn't that way up but does orientation matter not right now forwards. Yeah. Then we had the steering. Where did the steering come off? Did the steering come off the same place? I'm going to say it did. Probably didn't, but I'm going to say it did. That was also there. Yeah, okay. Better remember to put the bearing in else we'll be uh, not going very far very quick. I do apologize. I mean, it was only going to be a short stream anyway, not going to lie. But I wanted to at least finish it with a boat rather than watch my boat sail off into the distance. Or my amphibious car, even. Rather than watch it just disappear over the horizon as I try to actually make it work. Well, that's not going to turn, is it? Let's be honest. This wheel's going to bump onto that. I'll bring it out one more. Okay, wheels missed. Wheels, wheels. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, cool. 
Um, thrusters. Oh, dear. I mean, that logic stuff was really going to work as well. That's what's really annoying. Wait. Shouldn't that have a block connection to it? There we go. I feel better than that. Uh, logic. I had four logic blocks, didn't I? That was and, that was xnor, that was xnor, that was and, and what we were saying should have been when that's off and that is on, then that goes zoom zoom. And I had a load of cones somewhere, I had loads at the front, balances out a bit. To there. Hmm. I won't get that bow back. I don't need it back, you know. Uh, if this, if this one works, I don't need that other one back. But it's a matter of principle. That seems higher. Thrusters are all connected up, wheels are all connected up. Boat's going to flip over. Not going to flip over, but something's running. Electric engine's running. That's okay. Got no batteries in it. Hey, look at us. We, we built the same boat that we built half an hour ago. What a laugh. See, this is something about scrap mechanic. Imagine that this was actually like properly survival mode where I didn't have access to all of the blocks. How mad would you be? Absolutely furious. Just watch your creation that you spent hours harvesting the resources for going off into the distance. There's no fun in that. Wait, we need to be this way. This way. Oh, there it is. Look, can you just see it just in front of us? It's just dipped over the horizon now. So, do you think this will work? Or do you think this will be too much? Uh, which one was it? Was that one? It was that one. If we have twice as much power... <laughs> you know what? It's not a bad idea. Something nice and simple. It's called boat. <laughs> da 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 da. I mean, it's quite wet out here. I was expecting a little bit more land, but I, I don't think I've been this far out. I've never got to the, the edge of the map yet. Oh yeah, good point. We need more power. I'm glad you guys are here with the constant reminders because I forget this stuff. Yeah, I have no idea what to do when I'm in front of it, like... Mm. I think we're at the wall. I think we're at the very end, because I don't seem to be able to... Yeah, that's the end of the map. <laughs> Chase this boat literally to the end of the map when it's hit the wall anyway. Ah, okay, so there's the bubble wrap. I get you. 
That wasn't a bad, though. For memory, that wasn't bad. I saved this one, being as this is the one that's, like, better. Uh, what are we going to say? Boat! And then we can delete that. The best way to... Um, that's a lie. I was going to say, the best way to delete stuff when you've got the kind of... Whatever menu. The creative menu. The best way to delete stuff is with dynamite. But there's a lot of stuff that just won't get blown up. Mainly all of the engines and switches and stuff. But I think that'll be it. The rest of this, because it's caused me so much problems, the rest of this can say goodbye. We'll give it a Viking burial. Uh, I need to be careful here. I need to actually be able to get away before it blows up. Oh boy. Jumping on that wasn't such a smart idea. One in here, one here. And then just want to turn this around so that we can escape a little bit quicker. Now let's go this way around. And turn, turn, turn. This is where going backwards would be quite handy. Spud gun. A spud gun would be good. But then I don't have to go to the boat. We are far enough. Fire and hold. Yay! Okay. So, if we put two extra thrusters on here, and on here, and then connect those up, I'll need to resave it as well. That's not a problem. That. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and then put these up to high power. Are the bottom ones high power? I didn't remember. Yeah, they are. And yeah. Okay. So the more you play survival, the more Ooh, the more you play, the more the map isn't as big as it first feels. Colour? What kind of colour are you thinking? I I like blue. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a fan of the blue. But I'm open. I'm open to offers. But bear in mind, a lot of stuff won't really change colour, will it really? Like the wheels will stay black, it's just their insides that will change colour. Um, the rest of it will kind of colour up, but I don't know. I also feel I want to put a little bit more lift on the front, maybe. Again. Maybe. We have black and blue pinstripes. You just want to see it, that's the only thing. Wait, where am I? Where's... I have no clue where I actually am. Don't know where my defensive base thing my probably is. Um, I can't say I've actually ever investigated this world. No time like the present. Whoa. Okay. Wasn't supposed to fall over. That's a really high curb. Why does it feel like I'm... It feels like I'm crouched, but I'm not. This is crouched. Everything seems really high. <laughs> and I've just dropped it on my head. Okay. Let's throw a couple more... 
let's get the tools out then. Let's get the paint. Down that way. So this is the thing. These, they won't change to blue and they take up most of the craft. That's the only bad thing. What happens if we spray the cone? Okay. Guns broke. Yeah, so this spud gun on creative might not be the right spud gun. On yeah. Yeah, he should have been dead by now. Is that the same as that spud gun? Maybe. Maybe as well. It's because I don't actually have any spuds on me. I want to have a look what looks different about the level 5 engines you see they look so much cooler but if they have actual jet engines then we're gonna need like fuel tanks and all sorts of stuff but they do look way better like have one of these instead of this and then it doesn't really matter what color you have that they look way better but then if I have that I've got to have a fuel tank and if I have a fuel tank uh, we're gonna eat through fuel So what about if we do this we'll play a bit of a game here um, no, Let's put that down Is that gonna be too heavy On the back now hey, Take that one off as well So what I'm thinking here, we're going to kind of cheat a little bit. We're going to have two engines that are the creative mode engines, which means they don't need any gas putting in. It's just the way the game looks at them. They've constantly got gas. So that will work for me because it means that if I use all the fuel out of these, those creative engines at the bottom will always have fuel, so I'll never be out Never be out of, of gas, if you like. What different blues do we have? What about light blue? It's a seagoing vessel, so we need to make it seagoing colours. Makes sense. Do you see these if this is coloured? No. Ah, oh, that's a shame. So if the plastic bubble wrap gets a spray, you don't see it. So a lot of it is a tie there? So a lot of this stuff is kind of it's almost pointless if I spray it, because you're just not gonna see it. Black thrusters look OP. Okay, let me have a look. I don't want to start stepping on other YouTubers' toes, you know. Certain people have their certain colours. I don't want to be treading into their waters. Let's have a look at Black Thrusters. I mean, it could do. There's a lot of black already. So, having Black Thrusters won't really look out of place although the yellow breaks it down nice or orange breaks up the monotony of it all what about if these are yellow I can't get up now whoa what about if we swap this out wood because at least you can paint wood
And then I'm thinking, just do that. And there's like a little hat. Wait, yellow? Orange. Yellow. Yellow. Oh, didn't want to do that one. Yellow. There we go. Yellow cones. Yellow engines. Just to annoy everybody. Yellow cones. Yellow engines. And blue wood. I never did have good taste. I just want to see if this will go in the water now that we've changed those two jet engines at the top. Whether it will be too back heavy now. Okay, that's good. Level 5 engines. Level 5 thrusters are of a rock. What sort of lights do you think? Big ones, little ones, lots, just a couple. I'm thinking we could get some lights onto the steering. So that they follow the wheels wherever they go. believe for a second how badly I've lost my base. Might just bring this out. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to take it off. I doubt this will make any difference. At all. But I just, I don't like how much the front's dipping under. That's just, that's just me. Uh, one. Three blocks. Is that three blocks? Yeah, it was three blocks. Getting bigger. I don't want it to get bigger. I'll take that off in a minute, I guarantee. Uh, let's go over there. That looks like it might be something. Whoa. I can see it's taking flight. That wasn't going to end I mean, if we're on the gas, like, if we actually accelerate, it lifts the front up. So that's not too much of a problem. No, uh, it's okay. It looked better when it was near enough just the four wheels, wasn't it? Could do with some suspension, perhaps. We are riding the bumps really low. And it's kind of throwing us out a little bit. City. We don't really want to be around here, especially when there's big red guys kicking around. Nope. We've got too much power in the rear sometimes. It spins us a bit. No, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. We don't stop very well, though. Lights. Let's have a look at what lights we've got. 
So these are all the different lights that we can have. Uh, this one is amazing, but once you put it down, you can't delete it, and it can only go on certain places. I do agree, the cones were way better. So that spaceship light is out. Um, these these little warehouse spotlights say little. Wait, we're missing one. I know there's a smaller light somewhere. Is there not a? Is there not a what? Is there not a smaller? Yeah, one of those. What's that? Oh, it's just warehouse small spot. It's not actually called light. That's why it doesn't come up. Hmm. These. I like these, but these are huge. Have you seen the size of these things? They're like proper lights, but they're massive. <laughs> you see everything with those things. Let's do this for you guys. I agree. Right. Boom, boom, boom. We'll keep it low because when I put it up one, it looked a bit nasty as well. Oh, we've got to come out one more at least. No, that light is awesome. The brake light. Look, you have a nice red brake light. We're cruising around in the dark. You can see everything. It's a monster of a light. Nothing's going to come at you when you got that shining in people's eyes. And then, right? And then this is what you do. So, and then you go in here and you get these. You put these things. You put loads of these on here. Where are you? In there. So that these turn when the wheels turn, and then you could also, uh, where are they? These, put a row of these on the front, we have them shining down, so that they shine up the floor, so you look like the Rude Boys. Take it easy, thanks for dropping by, appreciate it. So these shine the ground, so they're like, um, what are they like? They're like can't explain what they are but yeah oh they won't go up sideways either that's a shame and then i want to try these small spots these things i've never seen these so i don't know how bright these are face me they're not really that bright at all wow it's really not noticeable but these yeah shine these up real good Literally lights the path in front of you. Boom. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And then you have these shining up real good on the side. Yeah, like that. And then paint them white because everybody knows that white's way better for seeing things in the dark. And then you're like, yeah. So now when your wheels turn, you got light wherever you go. And away you go. Thanks, my friend. Peace be with you. You take it easy and have a good day. see underwater and everything what I don't like about that rear light I'd like it to be a red light but I'd like a yellow surround rather than the whole thing being red but beggars can't be choosers so it is what it is Kind of everything, and I knew that we were going to do that. Some land over there. What the heck? No, that's going to end badly. No, it's not. That's cool. That's cool. I mean, it did spoil all my fun. I was literally going to use the jet engines and launch up here to see what happened, but 
Oh no. Oh no. Well, now we know. Okay. I'm gonna go on a little hunt. I need to go find my base. I have no idea where to start. It should be on a desert biome. And it was near the coast. So we're going to take our newly built... Yeah. We're going to take our newly built car ship. And we're going to go around the coast. To see if we can find... Oh, thanks man. That's appreciative. We're going to go see if we can find our base. I don't understand how I lost it. I literally sailed in a straight line when I picked up my boat from the edge of the map. But something has come wrong somewhere. So we're going to go look for it. Let's see what we can find. Woo -woo. Also thinking at the minute I've got my thrusters to turn left and right working on push buttons. But I'm thinking maybe we can convert a bearing into some sort of sensor A, uh, a and D controls. I don't know how I feel about that. I prefer Um that won't be too bad actually, actually, thinking about it. We are out of fuel. So that's why I don't like using... Uh, what is it? I don't like using the engines made in survival for making like these creation pieces in kind of creative survival because it's too real to survival. Having two level 5 engines running on a tank full of gas that was full. Absolutely full of gas. We didn't really get very far and they're ruined. But it's also why I had the backup of the survival engines. Not the survival engines, sorry, the creative engines. Because those two creative engines are keeping us going. Um, base will be around here somewhere looking at this. Will it? Because there was a lot of warehouses because we went to that one. I'm just going to put some more fuel in it just so we can get a move on. You can hear the glow blugs. I don't know if you guys can hear them. I don't know if they're coming through loud enough to you guys, but I've never heard them whilst sailing over the top of them before. I mean, I don't spend an awful lot of time out at sea. Maybe that was why, but when I have been out in the water, I've never heard them before. I'm hearing them a lot more now than I ever have. That's pretty cool. Okay, there we go. Right, jump in, and away we go. So that's the petroleum plantation thing. Okay, it's probably because the stream's uh, its not doing the sound too loud for you guys. I mean, it should be. It sounds like turned full whack. So we're looking for a big desert biome that has a big concrete wall around it. You guys see it? Shout up. So if you're playing actual survival mode, you've got to make sure you have 20 fuel. And then you can simply just drag it into the tank. I've got the dev commands going on, so I'm able to access a bit more stuff. 
so I have to do it by numbers instead. It doesn't let me drag it in. Is this where we built our base? I think it is. Because... That's the burnt ember biome where the escape happened. If you guys haven't seen that, check out my last video that I uploaded. It's called The Escape. What happened then? What happened? Okay. I think I found a bit of an off spot. So somewhere around there is a broken bit of water that's not water. That's different. That is really different. Um, yeah, this is where we need them backwards. But we're good. With the thrusters, we're here. So this, in the distance, not too far away. This is home. For now, this is where I do all of my little crafts and make them happen. There's a lot of experiments going on here, as you'll see around here. Look, all these little different things of experimentation. But yeah, I think I'm going to put some suspension on this, and then if I'm happy with it, I'm going to call it a day. So I'm thinking, what do I want to do with suspension? I don't want a lot, I only want a little bit. So if I bring this up here, and then here, and out there, I can put a sport suspension on the back. Do I want sport suspension? We'll go off-road suspension. I think sport suspension will be fine, off-road suspension might be a bit too much. Uh, let's go for level three sports suspension. There we go. And then we need a block. Block. Under there. Come on. As soon as I take that off the lift, that's going to spin. Why don't I just weld this to that? That'd make a lot more sense. There we go. That's a bit better. So then when we're here. One, two. I don't need there. No, that can't be right. No, that's right there. And then there. And then that's off there. Put the suspension on here. Bada bing. Bada boom. Just like that. Uh, some of us have got to eat and stuff, you know. I appreciate you guys for dropping by. I really do. Let's turn this up all the way. Do I need suspension on the front? Not at the minute, that's alright. I think that might do us. Crash, yep. Just go check it out in the water, make sure it is still good, because I know suspensions are a little bit kind of heavy. Whoop. Look at this guy. I'm 
make one last little change, I think. I need to think about this. If I have bearing there, on that bearing, there's a block. Too much brain power going into this thought. And then a sensor. Sensor. Yeah, okay, so I'll move the switch. Move the switch. Move the switch. Move the switch here. Yep. That was gonna happen. Let's go point this at a wall. Uh the end one isn't it no that's not the end one that's the end one there we go <laughs> thanks uh strange is probably something i can do right so then i think if i put this here and connect this up to Steering. I need to make sure it goes the right way. Doesn't. Turn it round. Need to turn the angle up a bit more. So we'll make this 90. I think 90 degrees should do it. Where are we? Here. And here. Yep, so now if we turn, that goes that way. That goes that way. Then we're going to get two sensors. We'll put a sensor each side of this block. Luckily for us, they only need to be level one sensors, although it doesn't really make a difference. So then I think if I put this here and this whoa lag here, I've got, some, whoa. I've got something with pistons over the other side of the wall and it's really not happy. It's causing the lag. At least I think that's what causes the lag. Right, so now what I'm saying is... Instead of the push button, have the sensor. And that is currently kicking out that. Is that going to work? Is that what we're trying to say? Instead of the push button, have the sensor... Wait, I need to hook the push button up to the seat. Yeah, so that works. Left and right. Yeah. Okay, cool. And it won't work with it off. It's awesome. So now if I turn... Yay! Awesome. Can disconnect the push buttons. Don't need them anymore. Which leaves us with just the switch. I turn up the speed of this bearing. Just so it's nice and fast. I don't want it too fast though. Let's not be too hasty. There is it there? My eyesight's all screwy. Yeah, so now if we turn that one. There we go, we've got it. That's less buttons. And it also means that we can have the engines on land and they'll help us and we can turn the engines off. And then we can still turn and the jet engines won't affect us. And it still works in the water. 
which somehow I didn't expect to happen. So thank you, Mr. Cat, for helping that out. And we just cruise through the water like heroes that we are. You guys have been awesome. I'm afraid to say that's it for me. Thank you for dropping by. We've had a good hour and a half here. And we've had a few interesting events happen, including this, I don't know what you want to call it, boat, car, amphibious vehicle going off into the distance, which luckily for us, we did manage to catch up with. So that was always good. But I have to say farewell, my friends. You guys have been awesome. Hope you can stick around. I will see you guys next time. I don't know if it will be a stream or a video, but thanks, guys. Take care, have a good day, and I shall see you again. Bye for now, guys. Bye.